Welcome to the video on how to access your PISD web desk and Google Classroom assignments on your Chromebook. When you first turn it on and you see this part right here, most students already know how to sign in. I am going to go and click next. And then I'm going to log in with my PISD network login. If you choose to sign in with Google Classroom, with the sign in with Google, you will have to add your at mypisd.net at the end of your first dot last name dot one. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with this one. For purposes of teaching this video, I'm gonna use my son's information. I had him join my classroom. So I'm gonna sign in with J. A S E. This is his name, not yours. You're going to do your first name dot your last name dot one. And then for your password, this is the same password you've been using at school. It usually has a capital letter, a lowercase letter, your student ID, the six numbers, and some sort of special character like equal or question or money, depending on what you chose in your classroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my son's pa password in off the screen. And then I'm gonna press enter. Enter right here on the keyboard. This will take you directly to the Welcome PISD page where it's your web desk. If you're sharing this device with a sibling, you have to make sure to sign out of Google and sign back in with Google. Otherwise, when you go to Google Classroom, you, you will bring up your sibling's Google Classroom. So that's why, that way it's best to have everyone there. So, I have my son logged in here with some of the different apps that he has on his. If you do not have Google Classroom, which is right down here, the little green, you will have to go to the Add, to add Google Classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. It says it's blocked, let me go back. Close these things. Okay, so right here in the app library, all I did, remember, all I did was click plus. This should already be on your Chromebook, but if it is not, this is how you do it. You're going to type right here, Google, except you're going to spell it correctly, Google Classroom. Now you want to add the one that says non-SSO web link, not the one that says form post with extension. If I click this one, you'll see it's already there. He actually has both there, but I'm using this one, the Google non-SSO web link. If you use the other one, it's gonna tell you to add an extension. That's not the one you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Actually, I'm gonna remove this one so it's not there and being confusing. So if it says add, that means you do not have it. If it says remove, it means you already have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Screencastify so that I'm not having to hold my phone while I type. Okay, boys and girls, now that you've successfully downloaded Google Classroom, you will enter your Google Classroom your classes will be on this screen right here. If you have not joined your Google Classroom yet for your specials or any of those classes, you will click right up here by your little place where you've logged in. This should be your account, not someone else's. You'll click Join Class and you'll enter your class code. I will list the kinder and first grade class code here. Second through fifth, you are already in your specials class. So, for example, remember this is my son logged in. So I signed him into my first grade specials and my kinder. So if I were trying to do my kinder lesson, let's pretend he's kindergarten. 
you would click on Kinder Specials, Library 2019-2020. Now this is for all of your specials. So under Stream, if you share something with your class here and attach something, everyone sees that. So I want to go over here to Classwork so I can look at my assignment that I'm trying to complete. Now under Art, I have two. They both work. One was a, win a Word document and one is Google Docs. I was testing things out, but I'm not going to delete it because I've had kids enter things in both. So when I click on the Eric Carl and scroll down, remember it's touch screen, it says click link below to follow instructions. You can click on this link just to follow the instructions. I'm actually going to, since I, I'm going to go ahead and show you both. When I click this, it will show you the actual lesson plan. It tells you all the things we're learning, the different links on YouTube that you can click and watch, um, look at the painting, all the different things that you're going to learn and wrapping it up. And the purple part is actually making your project. So I'm going to use the back arrow to go back. I'm going to go to view assignment. I'm pretending that I already made my project and I'm ready to turn it in. If I do a comment here, this goes to the entire class. If I add a comment here, this just goes to your art teacher or whichever teacher you're doing this lesson for. It just happens to be that we're in the art Google Classroom and the art section of our specials. The little paper airplane here is to actually send your message. So if I'm going to mark it as done, that's not really showing that I did the work. So I'm going to add or create my project. You can upload a Google Doc, Google Slide Sheets, Google Drawings, a link, something from your Google Drive. But since this is an image, we're going to go to File, and we're going to actually look at the image that we take. Now, if you have not taken a picture yet, you can actually click on this little circle at the bottom and search for your camera. My camera is right here. If you do not see camera, type camera in this space, and you'll see your camera. This is your webcam. So you'll be able to see me in just a second. Here I am. So let's say I made this beautiful artwork. Voila, look at this work of art. It is beautiful. So I'm going to put it up closer to my webcam. It's not going to be great quality, but it's good enough for me to see that you've done it. I'm going to click on the white circle to take a picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my camera. My camera is closed. Now, right here in the center, it says select files from your device. But if I click on that, It'll show me two pictures because I tried this earlier. I'm just going to click on that very top one. You can see a very small image of it and then click on open and click on upload. This will upload that assignment right up here. You can see where your work is being posted. Remember, if you want a private comment, you would put this right here and then send. So let's say I'm just saying, Hi, Mrs. Adams, since that is my name, and I'm pretending that my fake student, which is my son, is sending it to me. There he sent me a private message, and he's going to go ahead and turn in his assignment. It says, do you want to turn in your work? Yes, I want to turn in. So now he's turned in his project, and it's already been submitted. If you want to go back and change anything, you can unsubmit right here. If you want to look at other classes that you have, you can click on the three lines and you can scroll down and go to any of your other classes. Like if I wanted to go to my first grade specials and go to classwork, I can do that there. That is all you really need to know, except if you do not see your picture over here, go to manage accounts and make sure you've typed in your name. When signing into Google, always use your first name dot last name dot one at mypisd.net as your username slash email. If you're not one, you can use two or three or whatever number you use at school. I hope this answers some of the questions you had about Google Classroom. Thank you for watching.